And you've got to ask yourself as you watch the historic tragedy that is Joe Biden's immigration policy, what's the point of this? Nothing about it is an accident, obviously. It's intentional. Joe Biden did it on purpose. But why? Why would a president do this to his own country? No sane first world nation opens its borders to the world, promising the poorest people on the planet that they can have endless free taxpayer funded services if they show up and break your laws. That's not just stupid, it's suicidal. For generations, middle class Americans have had access to the best health care in the world, but not anymore. That's over for good. Our system cannot handle this many destitute newcomers, period. Imagine what hospitals are going to look like a year from now. How about schools? What Joe Biden is doing now will change this country forever. So again, why is he doing it? There's only one plausible answer. You're not allowed to say it out loud. CNN will attack you if you do. The social media companies will shut you down. The Southern Poverty Law Center will call you dangerous. You could lose your bank account. The left will become completely unhinged and hysterical. And that's how you know it's true. They only censor the true things. Nobody gets in trouble for claiming the earth is flat. So it could be risky for us to explain what's actually happening here, but for once, we don't need to do that. Joe Biden himself has already done it for us. Here's Biden explaining the entire point of mass immigration back in 2015 when he was vice president. An unrelenting stream of immigration, nonstop, nonstop. Folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017 will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50 percent of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. An unrelenting stream of immigration. But why? Well, Joe Biden just said it to change the racial mix of the country. That's the reason to reduce the political power of people whose ancestors lived here and dramatically increase the proportion of Americans newly arrived from the third world. And then Biden went further. He said that non-white DNA is the, quote, source of our strength. Imagine saying that. This is the language of eugenics. It's horrifying. But there's a reason Biden said it. In political terms, this policy is called the Great Replacement, the replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries. They brag about it all the time. But if you dare to say it's happening, they will scream at you with maximum hysteria. And here you have Joe Biden confirming his motive on tape with a smile on his face. No one who talks like this should ever be the president of the United States. The president of the United States has a moral obligation to represent all Americans equally, not just those of a specific color. For four years, remember, they told you that Donald Trump was a racist. But has anyone ever shown that Trump in his entire life said anything half as disgusting as what Joe Biden said on that tape? No, no one's ever shown that. Now, you're not supposed to notice this, of course, and to keep you from noticing what Joe Biden is doing and why, they are, as always, accusing you of their sins. Here are two sitting members of Congress telling you that it's racist to enforce immigration law. Watch. Congress must do the work of investigating and ensuring accountability of the egregious and white supremacist behavior of Border Patrol agents in Del Rio, Texas. What we witness takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reins again, whipping black people, Haitians, into the water where they're scrambling and falling down when all they're trying to do is escape from violence in their country. It's worse than slavery, enforcing our own laws. That was Maxine Waters. Everything she just said is a lie. The Haitians now in Texas aren't trying to escape violence in their own country. They haven't been in Haiti in years. They have been living in South America. Many even had refugee status in South American countries like Chile and Brazil. But that wasn't good enough. They waited for Joe Biden to become president and they came here for the free health care and housing that Joe Biden promised them. So now they have arrived. Why wouldn't they? You would. Who wouldn't? So here's what it looks like tonight in South Texas. A stunning scene more reminiscent of a third world country than the United States. 
Over 10,000 migrants are crammed underneath the international bridge here after crossing illegally into the United States. Many using sticks, plants, and whatever they can find to build shelter as they wait to be processed by Border Patrol. From above, a Fox News drone reveals the size and scope of the crisis, showing a camp that reached a population of 15,000 at its climax because of this. Over the weekend, we gained exclusive access to a boat on the Rio Grande, and we watched as a constant stream of hundreds of migrants crossed the river from Mexico, entering the United States illegally, hundreds at a time gathering on the shoreline before walking to the bridge. That look like the country you grew up in? No. We don't have to put up with this. We could solve it in a day. The administration could send these people back immediately. Haitians are not bad people. A lot of them are great people. But we have no obligation to let them into our country. American citizens owe no debt to Haiti. Haiti was never an American colony. Haiti has been an independent country for more than 200 years, since 1804. And for much of that time, we have sent Haiti a whole lot of aid. So however sad and dysfunctional Haiti might be, it is not our fault, that's for sure. And yet Joe Biden is now punishing Border Patrol officers who tried to enforce the law, who dared to deter Haitians from entering this country illegally with their reins. They weren't whips, they were reins. It doesn't matter to the Biden administration. The officer's real crime was trying to do their job, trying to stop illegal migration into this country. They've now been suspended, they will likely be fired. Can you imagine punishing law enforcement for enforcing the law? This is insane. Why do American citizens have a duty to follow the law at this point? That's an honest question. People are gonna start asking that question. The White House spent most of today calling those officers' actions horrific. Really, how were they horrific? The White House never told us. That's because no one ever cared about whether the whip was real or not. Joe Biden's press secretary is an accomplished liar, so she understands the principle well. Here she is, in one of the great clips of all time, claiming that, unlike you, Haitians do not need to show vaccination cards. Why? If somebody walks into the country, right across the river, does somebody ask them to see their vaccination card. Well, let me explain to you again, Peter, how our process works. As individuals, as individuals come across the border, uh, and uh, they are uh, both assessed for whether they have uh, any symptoms. If they have symptoms, they are the intention is for them to be quarantined. That is our process. They're not intending to stay here for a lengthy period of time. Oh, so. Haitians entering our country illegally from God knows where are not required to show vaccination cards because, quote, they're not intending to stay here for a lengthy period of time. Really? So let's say you go out to a restaurant in Midtown Manhattan. Do you intend to stay in that restaurant for a lengthy period of time for years? No, you just want to have dinner. But in order to get inside, you still need to show a vaccination card. Why? Oh, because you were born here. You're not Haitian, so you don't get a pass. Let's be honest, none of these people are ever going home. That's just true. According to the Associated Press, quote, many Haitian migrants camped in a small Texas border town are now being released into the United States. Haitians, one official told the Associated Press, have been freed on a, quote, very, very large scale. Oh, of course. In recent days, Fox News has confirmed that many of these Haitians are not even be giving, being given court dates, as Bill Malugin just told us. They'd be giving something called advisory notices requesting that they show up at some point in the future. Any woman claiming to be pregnant is immediately being waved into the country, no proof necessary. Her child would be instantly an American citizen. So who are these people exactly, these new Americans? Well, the administration has no idea. None, they have no idea, they don't care. Today, Jen Psaki again admitted she's not even sure how many Haitians have been admitted into the US and how many have been deported. All we know is several of Haitians trying to gain access to this country appear to be violent. This was the scene at the airport in Port-au-Prince just yesterday. The scene at Port-au-Prince Airport in Haiti is volatile. Angry Haitians dropped off here by the Biden administration throw rocks and shoes at the plane that carried them home. Three U.S. ICE officers were reported injured during incidents on the tarmac. Throwing rocks at ICE officers. The Biden administration has made it clear it's not going to do anything about this, of course. The governor of Texas isn't doing much about it either. That would be Greg Abbott, a Republican. 
In a matter of moments, Greg Abbott could deploy the National Guard, the Texas National Guard, to shut off the southern border completely, protect his state and the rest of the country. He's refused to do that. Instead, he's just deployed just over 1,000 of the 19,000 troops he controls. Why is that? Why not save the country if you have the power to do that? Why not save your own state? We don't know. Greg Abbott refused to come on the show and tell us. In a moment, we'll speak to one of his primary opponents about what should be done to protect all of us.